Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at another grain trailer. Um, if you didn't see the last video, we took a look at an Ertl grain trailer, hopper bottom. Now we're going to look at a DCP. Um, I'm just going to be making some videos of different um, hopper bottoms and other trailers we have, toy trailers, um, to move grain on the model farm. So this one is just a Wilson um, and... DCP makes the toy. I've actually got it in white. I've got a black one of these with a black tarp and then a black one with a red tarp. Um, so three of these, these are pretty much, these are all the same trailer here. Um, a little bit different decal maybe and color on a couple of them, but they're all the same. Um, so I'll just be probably looking at one of them and then maybe show you the different decals that's on them but this is got a lot of detail these are obviously a lot more expensive than like your Erta one would be but um you can see here pretty good de detail some good decals sorry that light's acting weird um what i like is these unscrew and so you can actually unscrew those on both sides and then the jack stands will be down. Um, screw them back up or whenever you have it hooked up to a truck. And um, the tarp, you can roll the tarp up and tuck it under these little hooks here. I'm not going to do that because it's kind of a pain. It's a tight fit. There's little hooks there where this will clip into the side of your trailer um, my tarp is a little faded on this a little sun faded you can kind of see it's a lot more black underneath there this is an older trailer i bought it used on ebay um, but it is it is what it is i i got a good deal so i bought this one um, we can look at the detail here um, these do open on both sides you got right here where you would open it at and there is really good detail on that it's going to be hard to get in this lighting there you go you can see it there the decal here some warning labels and stuff right by my thumb um, really fine lettering i can't even read that with my eyes but um nice chrome rims you can see the detail underneath here um, inside we got a lot of rivet detail detail in there wow that light is just really reflecting bad sorry about that I don't really know how to fix that but anyways um, we've got Wilson trailer decal there ladder up front Chrome fronts, more warning decals and stuff like that. Other side, pretty much the same. Wilson trailer mud flaps on the back. Good detail on the back. Chrome end on this one too. We got our tail lights, another ladder. And these things do come with a little tarp thing. All of mine pretty much break off or fall off. Um, some of them that I bought used didn't have it. But they attach the back there to give it more detail. I think this one came off of this trailer right here, the black one. And it, it just goes in there. I don't know, maybe one day I'll super glue it in. But anyways, that's that. Um, a little bit different in these two. You can see um, the mud flaps are different. A little bit that didn't have the decal. Other than that... These two are pretty much identical. Now this one here does have a newer decal on the side. That Wilson Trailers decal there is different. Um, but other than that, I'm pretty confident this one is pretty much the same as the other two. Other than there's a newer decal there. But other than that, they're pretty much all the same. Um, these are the first three DCP trailers I got, and these were all used. This one also has the Wilson trailer flaps on it. And this one does not have the hole for the tarp thing like the other two do. But anyways, 
yeah, these are the first three I got. These are the, I'm wanting to say, oh man, I cannot remember what these Wilson trailers are called. It's not the Commander. I think the Commander is the slanted end one. I'm drawing a blank. Let me think. It's the Wilson Pace Setter. I don't know why I couldn't think of that, but yeah. Wilson Pace Setter. So, I like these. They've got good capacity. Um, I think these are 42-foot models. I could be wrong. Um, but I think these are 42-foot model Wilson Pace Setters. So these were the first three we had on our model farm of the DCPs. We've since got a few more, so stay tuned. I've got a Commander I'll probably do next, and then some more. Anyways, thanks for watching everyone.